Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 18, Apps, Collectives, and Files. Um, and this is going to be a short video. I really just want to go over this sort of basic feature of Max, which um, is so... It, it, it has so many possibilities that there's no way we can cover them, but I think I should just go ahead and do it. So here is my homework um, patcher from the last uh, class, the last video tutorial. And um, let me just get the sound up here right so that... There we go. Okay, so this thing was working very well and let's just say that now I wanted to turn it into my somewhat um, uh, you know cranky professor. I could... one thing that I have to make sure to do is to include all the files that it uses you might remember that we made a super cycler and a super sampler patch inside of this patch and the keyboard itself is inside this patch so what we can do is go up here to file and um, click on that and we'll list the externals and sub patcher files so we click on that and um, we get this um, nice list of things and here it says uh, for this is the externals and sub patcher homework to keyboard read that's me okay first off is our patcher that was 04 key to keyboard read that was just my own filing method and it tells you it's a max patch also super cycler one there it is super sampler and there it is also, we managed to use every single one of these objects in, um, in making our, our patcher. So knowing that, um, it depends on how we're going to hand in our homework, what we're going to want to do now. If you are a Windows user, I'm sorry to say, because your professor is a Macintosh user, you have no choice but to send him a folder with super sampler, super cycler, and whatever you called your keyboard patch that you used for your B patcher, you have to include them in there with your homework. There's really no other way around it because um, uh, the other things that you can do in Max are platform specific, meaning if I make an application or I make a Max collective, um, it'll only work on the type of computer that created them. Yeah, I think it's a little lame too, and perhaps if we, you know, let Cycling74 know that, maybe they'll someday change it. But I actually checked to verify this, and they haven't changed it yet. Um, but if you're going to share your work with a uh, another Mac user, and let's say they used Max MSP what you can do is go up here to file and say build a collective or an application and we get this window here and this is the part that gets kind of tricky supposedly if we want to do this it will just automatically include everything associated with this application here so we can say um, build this as an app, uh, excuse me, build this as a collective. Um, and let's say you thought that your friend didn't have, um, didn't have the sounds for, um, didn't have the sounds that he needed to make your thing work. So you could say, go into examples, um, and click on sounds. Whoops and I gotta move this window over just to get to it and say open. So now it's going to include um, this folder. So it's going to open this patcher and it's going to include these sounds with it and then we'll just go down here and we'll click build. Now down here we're going to say a max collective and I'm just going to save it to the desktop so we can see it and we'll call this uh, uh, homework collective I'm 
okay and we'll save it um, this is if your friend has Macs now we'll switch over to the we'll switch over to the finder and look on our desktop this is our desktop here click there's my thing there's a desktop and this is everything that used to be on my desktop that you can't see now but here's our homework collective and we can see that it's 4.4 megabytes medium size um, and another max user can open this but only if they use the same platform as you in other words an Apple user can open one of these made by an Apple and a window user can open one made by Windows but never the twain shall meet I'm sorry to say what's nice about this is that inside of this um, are all the files that you're working on and when your friend opens it in their Macs um, then they can edit it and send it back to you if they want and you know that all the files it needs are there okay so that's how you make a collective and then you can just open it in Macs. I already have Macs open so it would be silly for me to open this in Macs. I'm just not going to do it. Okay, um, back to this. How to make an application though. Let's say you're on a Macintosh and you want to share your application. You've made this groovy keyboard and now you want to share it with other Macintosh users. Um, they're not going to be able to edit it, they're not going to be able to do anything to it, you just want them to have the application. Oh, and by the way, they don't have Max MSP. No big surprise there. What you do, same thing really, you say build a collective or application, and now you go down here and just click build, and we'll get this window. And what we want to do is build an application called uh, read groovy keyboard and we'll put that on the desktop too okay and we'll save it and you'll see suddenly down here this thing will be done writing the script there it goes finish the script okay so now we can close this and just go look in our finder again and notice right here on the desktop we have read groovy keyboard and let's double click it and open it and how can you notice that this is an application well there it is humorously <laughs> the the patcher that's contained in it still has the same name as my if I click on this one we're in max do you see this up at the top here I'll zoom in Woo! It says Max, so we're still in Max MSP. But I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to close this. But this is the Read Groovy Keyboard application, and look, it looks so nice. Anybody can use this. They don't need Max running on their computer, and they can play it. Oh my goodness, it actually works. Don't start that. Cut it out. Anyway, so they can use your really cool thing that you built as long as they have a Macintosh. And again, if you were doing this on Windows, your friends with a Windows computer can use it too. So you've now created an actual application which, by the way, you'll notice that you can't edit it. And if you go in the edit window, there is no edit button. There's no way to mess around with with um, the patcher because it's not a patcher anymore it's compiled as an application I'd like you to notice something else in the finder window which is that this is now almost 50 megabytes so it's a 50 megabyte application because it has included everything in there that it needs to run all by itself so instead of being just a bunch of files like a our homework collective which was one-tenth the size as you can see down here 4.4 megabytes it just includes the files that um, that that patcher was dependent on in the application almost 50 megabytes 
but your friends can have such a groovy keyboard that you made them. Oh my goodness, they'll be talking for so long. So um, that's it. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Um, the the uh, build collective window, I'm going to quit read Groovy Patcher and go back to Max and open up the other Patcher, the homework Patcher, which looks exactly the same. You'll notice um, all these possibilities for putting things in that window. This can be very complex depending on how complicated your very own patcher is and how much stuff it needs that only exists on your computer. Um, so unfortunately I would venture to say it's almost a trial and error where you have to like build your patcher, include the right files, and then open it on somebody else's computer to see if it works. Um, I've had to do that on my own and I can't really say there's any rhyme or reason to it. It just um, is a, a, a but of course when you're making an application you know you're ready to ship it out to the world you know so you have to sort of go through this process to make everything's there so it works back to what I was saying before though about uh, and this is the last thing files so if you're turning in your homework files um, you have to go up here and this is just reviewing here and list the externals and if you see anything up at the top that is a separate max patch, like Super Cycler, Super Sampler, or the keyboard, they have to be included in a folder that goes with your homework. So, oh, I have to admit I wasn't thinking about that when I gave out the homework, but um, it's a good thing to know. And that is it. Uh, going over it again, you can share applications um, with people who are using the same kind of computer as you. You can swap collectives with people who have the same kind of computer as you who are running Macs. And um, the only thing that you can uh, do with the uh, files, if you're a Windows user trying to give something to a Macintosh user or vice versa, you're a Macintosh user trying to ship something to a Windows user, is you just have to send them the Max files um, with, you know, just send them together. If you've got a Max patch, then you have to send the other Max patches that it needs to run with it. And that is the state of things, and that is also the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next tutorial.